All right, the tools we use today are Milwaukee drill, 12 volt compact drill. Any drill will do as long as it's a smaller drill. If you don't use a smaller drill, you'll tend to break bits. So if you've just got an electric drill, that's fine. Uh, variable speed makes it easier to start the bit. You don't have to use a center punch. We have a cobalt which was purchased at Lowe's. Combination drill and tap set. Each tap has its specific drill size in a corresponding slot. Uh, it, it's nearly foolproof. You have a T handle which is adequate to drive or turn these taps up to quarter inch in this set. Now if you go larger you may need a larger T handle or if you're tapping some extremely hard steel. And since aluminum makes it so easy on you, I just give it a little shot of this stuff just to lubricate the tap. Uh, you might get by without it, but a broken tap in the hole in your project is a real deterrent. Alright folks, today we're on an aluminum boat project and our focus is drilling and tapping threads, that's internal threads, to receive a bolt or machine screw. We're going to use the appropriate size drill bit for the tap we're using. Drill a hole in the metal, cut threads, and thread the bolt in. Nothing to it. Go buy you a small kit. They're not very expensive. This one was obtained at a local Lowe's. Has the appropriate bits for each tap. Up to quarter inch this one is. There's nothing to this. Simple as pie. I pre-marked the spot that I want to cut the threads. I'll now drill the opening. It only takes moderate pressure as long as your drill bit isn't completely dulled down. Now, this is the tap and the T-handle. I'm going to insert those into that drilled opening and apply gentle pressure and get it started into the opening. Don't force it. Just turn and keep constant pressure on it. And once it starts, we need to apply just a little bit of lubricant on it. And this being aluminum is a fairly forgiving material. If you were drilling into hardened steel to tap threads, you'd have to use more lubricant and keep lubricant on it. Let's see if we can't get in a little closer. And you can actually watch this. And this isn't hard to turn, but as you turn in, you will feel increasing pressure. If that pressure builds, you need to back the tap up to clean out the cuttings. And this may take several attempts. Aluminum, as you can see, makes it pretty easy. That's done. We're going to back this all the way out. And I don't know if it's showing or not, but there's some cuttings coming out with the tap.
and I've chosen an eye bolt to go in this. We simply take the eye bolt, start it into our threaded opening. Crank it down. There you have it. Nothing to it. Tapping threads in aluminum. You can do it like falling out of a tree.